Hey guys, AJ here. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video. I took a little break during the whole YouTube uh, demonetization fiasco, um, but I've, I've uh, come back and today I'm going to, to do a head shave for you, a wet, uh, wet shave. Um, you can see my beard has, uh, has been still growing and um, right now it's scraggly. I haven't uh, blow dried it out or straightened it at all, but um, that, that will be for another video. Today um, we're, we're going to do a wet shave, so let's, uh, let's get prepped. I'm going to be using my uh, safety razor and I'm going to just uh, heat up or soak my badger brush. Now this is a wall double-edged safety razor that uh, we just got at Walmart. I, I'm just getting into this so um, what I'd like to do is, is get one of the maggard uh, handles and and uh, try that but for right now we're, we're using the wall and the I think it's the Wilkins sword blades I'll, I'll check that out um, and for my brush it's just um, the wall badger brush that came with it now for my soap today um, I just picked up this is tipsy toad soaps um, and I'll leave a link in the description this is their shave slather this is the peppermint and I'll leave all the pertinent information um, I've never used their soap before. What I've been using since I got back into wet uh, head shaving is Barbie's Bar Barbary's um, shaving cream, and I don't like it. It's, uh, it doesn't have a real good residual slickness to it. Um, the bubbles and the and the uh, lather dissipate very very quickly. Um, I I don't get a very nice shave uh, out of this, and it. The scent is nice, but it's way overpowering. Um, like I said, this is Tipsy Toad Grove. Uh, $10 taxes in. Uh, it comes in this nice metal cup. Um, so I'm going to just lather up right in here. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. They say that it's, it's really slick. Uh, pep peppermint scented. Um, they do have a Buck naked, I think it's called. But let's uh, let's get into this shave. I'm just going to uh, get my head wet and do a hot towel, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, just a second. And what I like to do just before I put the, the hot towel on my head is um, I like taking some oils that I've mixed up. I use this as a beard oil, um, but it's just some essential oils uh, mixed in with some olive oil and coconut oil. And I just put that on and uh, I believe there's some eucalyptus and some uh, wintergreen on that so just just nice just adds to the slickness and it's a nice pleasant scent so how have you guys been i know it's been been quite a while um i uh i did a beard trim here um while back ago, about two or three weeks ago, went to Jill, Sailor Bups. Um, really great service, and Jill really knows what she's doing, so thank you, Jill. And uh, yeah, it's been good. I, I, I am relatively new to the Devil Edge Safety Razor traditional um, wet shaving, especially on my head. Um, uh, back when I shaved my face, um, I was using an electric for a long time. Before that, I uh, I was using like uh, your Mach 15,000, and the um, the 
blades were just insane. And my wife still uses a Schick Intuition. And I think three blades um, or three cartridges is uh, 15 or $16. It's absolutely outrageous. So the, the blades that I get, there's five that come in a package. And um, they are... They are, I think it's five dollars for five, so it's about a dollar a blade, and uh, the blades seem to last a good long time. So uh, let's got my badger brush, and uh, here's the the puck, tipsy toad, shave slather, peppermint. Let's uh, let's get dive right in. See what we starting to lather up. I mean, I'm just seconds into this and uh, oh yeah it's lathering up really nice smells amazing I didn't bloom it at all it just went straight in dry and uh, that is foaming up I don't know if you can see that but uh, Lots of foam over the sides, um, just because they fill they fill the the cup right up to the top with soap. So I'm losing a lot on the sides, but we'll uh, come back and we'll take that and we'll just put it on. So let's take some of this stuff and get it onto the old bean. Now it's been been five days since I, I did uh, my last shave. I was kind of waiting for this cream to come in. They're, they're local, but uh, just working and, and whatnot been a little crazy. So I just hadn't gotten to the shop or well, they sell it at the farmer's markets. You can order it online said I'll, uh, I'll leave all that pertinent information in the description box if you would like to order but uh, they're goat farmers as well so they have uh, they have their goat milk right in the, uh, the shave slather so that's awesome now let's uh, paint on the old bean Hope everything is going well in your guys' world. Things are really busy at work right now. Um, learning lots programming. I think my SQL or SQL skills are getting better. Um, modeling a lot of my queries now after um, a gentleman that still works at Michelin, but he's he's moved on to management position. And uh, he, he always wrote some really complex queries, so uh, I'm finally getting to that stage where uh, I can write fairly complex queries myself, um, which is fun. Gonna add a little, little water to my brush. It's, um, it's a lot better to uh, get your query right first off uh, when you're programming 
um, write a little more complex query because I find that it's a lot easier if you bring back the data that you need the way that you need it already manipulated um, <clears throat> there's a lot less coding and a lot less manipulation um, after the fact so if you take the time to write a good query you um, save time on the other end. So like I said, it's been five days. So what I had to do was um, I buzzed off the um, the hair. It was fairly, fairly long. My hair grows quite quickly. Should probably shave two to three times a week. But uh, like I said, I've been waiting for this soap All right, so I'm still uh, still honing my technique, but uh, kind of start with one side and then work my way over to the other. Try not to cut myself. And as you know, or as most of you know, I wear. Uh, I wear glasses, so kind of shave blind. Trying to shave against the grain, but uh, doesn't seem to be. Didn't have much success with that the last time. I tried tried to uh, shave against the grain, so we'll we'll go with the grain. hands in the way so yeah um, one thing that uh, we want to learn as a group this year is is mobile apps and mobile app development so that should be that should be really exciting I think that'll put us on a different playing field Oh yeah, 
have to change our blades. Let me change out the blade. I'm not, not seeming to get in a very good shave. Um, so just a second. All right, so yeah, it's a Wilkinson sword blade that I'm currently using. I still use um, a shavette to trim up. What you want to do when you put in a blade, if you don't know, if you're new to wet shaving like I am, you want to make sure that your head is or your blade is straight on uh, on the head, because it will it will cut you um, in bad if uh, if you don't. So I'm just going to go in and grab some more. So feedback is way better this time. And the one thing that I'm really surprised at just how relaxing wet shaving is. Um, I uh, I really enjoy doing this, taking taking some time out of my day to just be quiet 
Um, although I'm talking to you guys right now. Um, and just sort of pamper myself. I like the feel of a nice clean shaven head. And I'm really digging the scent of this Tipsy Toad soap. It's not overpowering at all. It's just a nice, clean scent. Um, unlike the, the pump cream that I have, um, that, I mean, I, I get a headache from, from that scent. I am nicking myself just a little bit. Maybe rushing just a little too much. It's my father's birthday, or we're celebrating my father's birthday today. Happy birthday, Dad. Love you. You uh, taught me everything that I know about uh, shaving. Oop. Huh. And how to embarrass yourself on camera. embarrassing part but uh, this soap is giving a fine shave so my hat's off to Sue at uh, Tipsy Toad um, it's a really fine Fine soap I got there. I think what I'll try doing though is taking some of the soap from my brush and I have my other bowl here and uh, just so I don't waste anything and really get a good lather. You sort of kind of need that uh, those sides I, I find anyway with the brush to really uh, get up a good lather. said they uh, they also have a buck naked and um, they're right here in the Annapolis Valley Nova Scotia and uh, they sell I went to the Wolfville's farmers market today I, I've been scoping out their website and, and I actually work with her with her husband um, and uh, he uses it, he head shaves as well. But, uh, this stuff.
this slit. Now the necks are not from her soap. It's more me still learning how to shave. my head properly. Now, I find that the worst part about head shaving for me is shaving the back. I, uh, I go by feel, but uh, I just, just, I wouldn't say nervous, but uh, but nervous. Remember as a teenager, I had uh, one of those mushroom cuts, and uh, if you remember those, back in the 90s, early, early to mid 90s. would shave the, the, the short part of the, the mushroom cut. And I was using one of the Gillette Mach 2015s that uh, had, you know, 28 blades. And I, uh, I accidentally went like this. And boy, howdy, did I, uh, did I, did I give a hat job to my head?
The soap's got some really great residual slickness. I'm just trying to do some cleanup here. Getting real close. It's feeling really good. If you haven't tried traditional wet shaving um, and you're using the cartridges and whatnot, um, for, like I have extremely sensitive skin, dry skin, um, and when I was using cartridges and whatnot, um, I have really bad razor burn and whatnot, and I just, I don't get it, and I get a closer shave for way less. I'm, I think that is just about done. Couple little nicks, but that's not the soap, that is uh, my shave technique. Still being and not a whole lot of soap left in the brush, but that's good, I'm not wasting.
clean out the bowl. Yeah. Oh, just a few seconds, just start to dump my head. Just behind the ear there. That's a very problematic spot for me. I think I just got myself right on the back of the neck. Oh well, what do you do? So, just a little uh, Allen stick. Now, I have never done this before. This might burn like the Dickens. Uh, they say that people with sensitive skin like me Probably shouldn't do this. But, uh, ooh, I must have nicked myself back there where I said that burns. So brothers, uh, thank you very much for sticking around. Um, all I do to finish off is um, I'm going to, once the alum uh, dries off, or dries, um, I, I sort of splash it off and then I put some oil on my head just to, to help moisturize. Um, if you like the style of these videos, um, this is the first one, just sort of feeling it out. If you want to watch me do more head shaves, and just to chat with you while I'm doing it. Um, that'd be cool. I, I'm totally open to that and I'd like to get back into making regular videos. I'll also make a video on how to style the beard, but I highly recommend that you try out Tipsy Toad soaps. I'll leave a link in the description box and uh, their beard slather or shave slather is um, amazing. Great scent, not overpowering. The residual slickness is uh, on point and um, as far as shave uh, it is actually the best shave I've had it's the closest shave that I've had and I thank you Sue and um, and Troy from Tipsy Toad for making such fine products my wife also uses deodorants they I've, I've tried their soaps before and they also have a, a farm that uh, they also do vegetables and and meats as well so I highly encourage you to check those uh, websites out. I'll leave them down below. Please comment, give a like button, and um, we'll see you in the next one real soon.